Islam and greetings, Moors. Welcome back to another part of Pardon the Interjection. This will be part three with your host, Supreme L, of anti corruption in the U.S. government. And we continue with part three. Then in the 70s through 80s, USA Inc. passing as a legitimate government, end quote, passing as a legitimate government, removed the gold standard from the dollar, tricked the states into sending their tax revenues to the district of criminals, revenue sharing, end quote, and even authorized the Department of Defense to wage war on the general population, which is it now doing. They're doing that now. Just look at that. Just look at that. Who we, who we have here? Mike Brown? Who, who, who we have here? The brother that was uh, selling, uh, they call him Jacks here in D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, but single cigarettes. He was selling Jacks, single Jacks, single squares, Eric Garner, even Trayvon. Even the brother I seen on YouTube where he supposedly had jumped off the bus or jumped on the bus and jumped the fare and didn't pay the fare and he ran the police, chased the young guy down and shot him in the back. They're waging war on us. We're not black, Negro, or color. We have a nationality. Let's get it together, family. And we continue. There is an ongoing electromagnetic radiation attack. It is a U.S. military operation and it is being inflicted on us all via the wireless communication and surveillance network. See smartmetersmurder.com. Smart meters murder. In 1992, the CEO of the U.S. Inc., USA Inc., ordered the corporate states, counties, and municipalities to sell off their public's assets. To sell it off. Liquidating. In 2001, USA Inc. passed the Patriot Act, which permits unlimited spying on the American population. And in 2011, President Obama, the CEO of USA Inc., signed the National Defense Authorization Act, permitting the arrest and indefinite detention of anyone on U.S. soil for merely displeasing the office of the president when you're stateless persons you're considered stateless person outlaws and you will be handled as such why aren't the American people told that they are still classified as enemies of the state by the so-called federal government why haven't folks heard about the USA Inc. bankruptcy of 33 and the severe changes that came thereafter? Why aren't we told our justice system is based on corporate slash commercial and not on justice? Because all lawyers, including those calling themselves constitutional experts, have to swear an oath of secrecy and agree to administer the bankruptcy. And a vast number of our so-called elected representatives are lawyers themselves. Very few lawyers will admit to these facts. 
that many might not even be aware of. And here is the elephant in the room. The American people did not and would not have agreed to any of this. They were kept in the dark and today find themselves unwittingly contracting with a completely corrupt corporate franchise system that does not represent their best interests and that they don't even know is in place. Therefore, the CIA has achieved their goal. Everything the American people believe in is false. So, let's stop calling these bodies and agencies our government. They are not. Repeat, let's stop calling these bodies and agencies our government. They are not. They are only posing as government. They do not serve us, but are actually private corporations listed on Dunn and Bradstreet by their all-caps corporate names. We owe them no loyalty, and it is our duty to expose the fact that they are fraudulently receiving public funds and governmental annuity and immunities, excuse me, while they are actively profiting from and harming us all, even if many of their employees are as much in the dark as the rest of the population.